Hey everybody, welcome to japansauce.net. Today we're going to be taking a look at some Japanese classifieds. I was scrolling through some of these classifieds and I found some that were really funny and some that were a little bit weird. So let's take a look at them together. Let's go. Alright, the first Japanese classified user has something for sale. What is it? Green bell peppers. Yeah, apparently she has way too many green bell peppers. One kilo to be exact. That's actually quite a few green bell peppers. She apparently didn't know what to do with them anymore and needed to get rid of them because she can't eat them all by herself. So what does she do? Gets on the Japanese classifieds and decides that she wants to exchange them. Not for money. Oh, your money's no good here. What she wants for them is chocolate cake. That's actually a really smart way of doing business. I mean, who really wants to eat a bunch of vegetables, right? Everybody would rather have some really nice chocolate cake. So why not get yourself a garden, grow a bunch of green bell peppers or vegetables that you don't want, and then exchange them for stuff that you do want, like chocolate cake. So if you're a fan of green bell peppers, then this is the person that you want to go to. Maybe you don't like chocolate cake. She does. She's willing to take it for the right price. All right, this next one is out of Kyose City. And I think this one might have been impacted by COVID, believe it or not. Why? Because this person wants to exchange a bunch of really cool stationery, like pens and pads and a bunch of other little cute items that are really colorful and fun. So can you guess what they want for it? Toilet paper. That's right. This classified writer wants toilet paper in exchange for all of those cute little items. But here's the thing, they actually note there that there's 12 items in this set. That means that there's, you know, 12 pens and, you know, little notepads and whatnot. And they say they'd like one roll of toilet paper for each item, which means 12 items. They want 12 rolls of toilet paper. That might seem like a steep price, but actually they don't mind if it's single ply or double ply. So if you're smart, Go with the single ply. It's cheaper and you'll get yourself a bunch of stationery for 12 rolls of single ply toilet paper in Kyose City. All right, so this next classified is actually really cool. You know, when I first saw it, I recognized the character right away. It's Doraemon. So if you don't know Doraemon, Doraemon's a really famous Japanese character. It's actually really popular and it's been around for many, many years. So Japanese people love Doraemon. And I actually like the anime too. It's a really cool comic strip and anime. If you ever have a chance, check it out. But in any event, this person is actually teaching a class on how you can make Doraemon bread. That's right. A bunch of bread in the shape of Doraemon, which is actually really, really neat. And she provides some pretty nice pictures of the Doraemon bread that you can create. So. Here's the real Doraemon, and here's the bread Doraemon. They look, uh, well, they, they look okay, right? I mean, of course, the bread Doraemon looks like he's been through a rough time, but you would too if you were stuck in an oven cooking, right? So I think it still looks really cool, really cute. Who else do you know who can make some bread that looks like Doraemon? All right, everyone. Well, that does it for the Japanese classifieds today. I know some of them were funny, interesting, and maybe even a little bit weird. I usually find myself looking for fun stuff like this because I've got a little bit of extra time and I'm always interested to see what Japanese people are willing to sell, exchange, or even buy, right? So I hope you found this interesting too. And if you want to see more, please let me know. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you next time.